10 Best Things to Do in London Are you planning to visit London but don't have any idea about the famous places? Well, just relax. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 things you can do in London, so don't take your eyes off for a moment or you will miss some of London's marvelous places. So, without wasting any time, let's dive in. Number 10. Tower Bridge Despite being built in the 19th century, this tower bridge is still able to attract hundreds of thousands of people every year. The visitors can enjoy the 360-degree view of the city by walking over the bridge, and at the same time, they can experience the natural vibe because of the flowing water of the River Thames just below the tower. Undoubtedly, the unique and beautiful Tower Bridge is one of London's most famous landmarks. If you want to capture the historic moment of this tower, you must attend the place when the tower is lifting. The Tower Bridge is actually a working bridge, but unfortunately, Tower Bridge does not lift every day. During winter, you can hardly see Tower Bridge lifting. However, in the summertime, Tower Bridge can lift seven or eight times a day. That's why you must visit the official website where they list the time, day, and sometimes name of the vessel in advance. Number 9. Camden Town if you want to see London's most vibrant shopping and entertainment neighborhood, you must visit Camden Town once. This amazing area is a series of adjoining markets where you can visit a number of stalls with punk clothing and tattoo parlors. If you're visiting London for the first time, and if you love to experience a vintage vibe, try spending some time here because it's the place for some of the most unusual shops in London where you can easily find everything from home decor to boho fashion, crafts and trinkets, jewelry, books, and vintage finds. Well, if you're not a shopaholic traveler, please don't worry. The Jewish Museum of London will never disappoint you. The museum beautifully showcases the history of Britain's Jewish communities. You can see the disappearing heritage of London's East End, the social history of Jewish people across London, and above all, it has an acclaimed program of Holocaust and anti-racist education. Number 8. Museums London is known to be one of the most expensive cities in the world, but for travelers, London has a number of museums, and one of the most amazing things about these museums is that they don't charge an entrance fee. You can start your tour from the most popular British museum. It is open to the public in 1759 in Montagu House. Every year, almost 6 million people visit this museum. When you walk into the glass-roofed Great Court, you can see students, tourists, and local citizens who have popped in just for lunch. There are two sections in the galleries. Each one is categorized by location and periods in history. If you have little knowledge of British history, you can also enjoy a tour led by the guides every Friday. Another must-visit museum is the Grant Museum of Zoology, where you can see the remains of many rare and extinct animals, such as a dodo and the skeleton of the zebra-like quagga hunted in the 1880s. The next is National Gallery. In this museum, you will see masterpieces from virtually every European school of art. The gallery's earliest works are placed in the modern Sainsbury Wing. If you want to know more about these museums, please follow the link given in the description. Number 7. Big Ben and Palace of Westminster Big Ben is known as the British cultural icon and was completed in 1859. It is located at the north end of the Palace of Westminster. Earlier, the tower is known as Big Ben, but in 2012, it was renamed and is now called the Elizabeth Tower. There is a shocking fact about the Big Ben. The giant clock has rarely stopped. Even during the Second World War, a bomb destroyed the Commons Chamber, However, the clock tower successfully survived. Despite the blast, the clock is working today without any technical problem. Number 6. London Eye The extremely popular London Eye has been featured in a number of Hollywood movies. Some of them are Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer in 2007, The League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse in 2005, Wimbledon, Agent Cody Banks 2, and Thunderbirds in 2004, Austin Powers and Goldmember in 2002, and A Knight's Tale in 2001. London Eye is actually a giant wheel that is situated on the south bank of the River Thames opposite the House of Parliament and next to other top-rated London tourist attractions. The Eye was opened to the public in 2000. The giant wheel is 135 meters tall. Each capsule has a space for approximately 25 people. You can also walk around freely inside the capsule. Usually, the wheel does not stop to take on passengers because the rotation rate is so slow that anyone can get in or out easily. 
However, sometimes, for the safety of the disabled or elderly passengers, the wheel takes a stop. 5. West End Theatre District You won't believe this, but there are a number of theatres in the West End of London, and visiting all the West End theatres in a single day is quite challenging. Watching shows in West End is a common tourist activity in London. The most exciting thing about West End Theatre District is that many national and international actors frequently appear on the London stage. English composer and impresario of musical theatre Andrew Lloyd Webber and actor Benedict Cumberbatch are some of them. For getting tickets, you can head to the official discount booth TKTS in Leicester Square. You will find a good discount offer every day. Number 4. Hyde Park in Kensington Gardens According to a report, every year millions of tourists visit Hyde Park, which is also known as one of the capital's eight royal parks. King Henry VIII was very passionate about hunting, and this was the chief reason why he created the fascinating Hyde Park in 1536. Hyde Park extends 350 acres in the center of London. It is the best tourist spot since it is home to famous landmarks such as the Serpentine Lake, Speaker's Corner, and the Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain. Earlier, Hyde Park adjoined Kensington Gardens, but later, in 1728, Queen Caroline divided them by creating the Serpentine Lake. For tourists, Hyde Park is more than just a memorial park since the place offers various recreational activities including open water swimming, boating, cycling, tennis, and horse riding. If you have a tight schedule and want to visit both places, start your tour from Kensington Gardens since it closes at dusk while Hyde Park remains open throughout the year from 5 a.m. until midnight. Number 3. Portobello Road Market At number 3, we have listed Portobello Road Market, which is a famous antique market in London. The market got the name after the street it's found on. It's known as the world's largest antique market, so if you love to have antiques and collectibles like watches, furniture, jewelry, and stamps, this place will definitely satisfy your craving. Notting Hill Gate and Ladbroke Grove are the closest tube stations, so if you want to get there, the best option is to take the tube. Moreover, if you're going to visit this place for the first time and you don't have sufficient time, start your trip from Notting Hill Gate and finish at Ladbroke Grove. This way, you can also enjoy some of the delicious street food in the food stands that are in the northern part of the market. Number 2. Meridian Line Park Vista Do you want to make your London tour unique? Well, then you must visit Greenwich Park, where the Meridian Line is marked by a line of metal studs continued by a metal line. The Prime Meridian Line is an imaginary line that divides the world into the eastern and western hemispheres. If you think that an entry ticket can cause a burden on your budget, you can also click some pics without wasting a single penny at Park Vista where you can easily find the dotted line. Number 1. Changing the Guard Moment When you visit London for the very first time, visiting Buckingham Palace is like a million-dollar dream come true. The palace is a London royal residence of the monarch of the United Kingdom located in the city of Westminster. While visiting the Royal Palace is more than anything, the palace is also famous among tourists for watching the guard-changing ceremony known as guard mounting. So, this was the list of the top 10 things you can do in London. And if you want me to do another video on top 10 things to do in London for free, just like this channel and drop a comment. I hope you enjoyed the video, please support our channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Thanks for watching the video.